Hey Sassy Squad, it's Sasha. So today I'm going to be doing a how to be confident in your body and just in yourself and how to embrace yourself and the type of body you have. And I'm also going to be doing a, I think, bathing suit collection and I don't know if I'm going to be trying it on. But just in case if I do, this video is just like, I don't really, I'm not in the mood to get like any um, body sh body shaming um, comments on that video that I will be doing because no one has a perfect body except well I mean yeah no one has a perfect body if you see those like Victoria's Secret models it's photoshopped I'm just saying if you don't know it's photoshopped it is I'm telling you guys um, and yeah no one has a perfect body and I sure don't and I sometimes do feel not so confident in my body um, but I, there are creepy people on the internet, so I don't know if I'm going to be doing a, like, try-on with the bathing suits, but if I do, I'm just saying, no body shaming, nobody's perfect, I'm confident in my own body, and if you're not, then work out or something. No, I'm just kidding. You guys should be confident in your own body, but anyway, I don't want, I don't want to make this intro too long. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. I have some notes written down because I don't want to, like, ramble on. I don't want to, like, I don't know. I just don't want to, I just don't want this whole video to be a rant. So, the first note is stop comparing yourself to other people. So, I know it's easier said than done, but so many people just compare themselves to others. And, like, we live in a society that it's so, I, I just, like, I don't know, it's just so terrible. Like, important because you are you and nobody else can be you. There's a quote um, that is by Oscar Wilde. And, like, I don't know if it's cheesy, but it's really cliche. I, I, but I mean, I really like it. And a lot of people in my family like it also. Self, everyone is taken. And... Like, don't find things in other people that you love because then it will bring you down even more. Find things about yourself that you love. Um, and I know a lot of people look into the mirror and they're, they see the first thing that they see on themselves is the thing that they don't like about themselves. Well, like, not everyone does it, but I know a lot of people do it. And... Don't do that because then it brings you down even more. Just find a thing on, like on yourself or find a thing about yourself that you love and that will make your confidence increase a thousand times more. I promise you. I do this every morning. I look into the mirror and I'm like, I pose in... I, I have a power pose. That's another thing. Find your power pose. This is my power pose. I like that pose very much. Um, so I do that in the mirror every morning in an outfit I really like and it has to be comfortable also. Um, <laughs> fashionable and comfortable, that's a thing. Um, yeah, so I do a power pose in that outfit and I'm like, what do I like about myself? I like that I feel com confident in this outfit and I like that... I am good with makeup and I like my smile and I just find something you like about yourself. To only be good for yourself because if you want to look good for other people, then it puts a whole other stress level on yourself and that's not good for you and it's not mentally healthy for you and physically healthy for you. So it sounds crazy, I mean I'm crazy, but um, I, it just feels so good to me like when I'm in school I'm like okay I, I look nice and um, you don't wait is there a fly in here oh no that's outside <laughs> okay um, anyways <sighs> okay so when I go to school I like to look good and that is not a problem it's just how I feel and it makes me feel good and if it makes me feel good then I'm good for the day but one time when I went to school, or it happens a bunch of times, but let me just give you an example. When I go to school, or when I went to school one time, um, someone went up to me, or many people go up to me, and they say, you look so good. Who is this for? And I'm like, I'm stunned. Like, I'm, 
I'm just saying to myself, are you kidding me? I'm doing this for myself. It makes me feel good. And if you got a problem with that, then goodbye. Now watch me whip. Kill it. Now watch me nine nine. The second tip is to feel positive. People are attracted and want to talk to you when you are confident with yourself and it just shows everyone. Like if you walk into a place and you're like and you're just very confident, then people want to go to you and talk to you and they want to be around with you. They want to they want to be around you because if you're confident, then I bet you have a smile on your face and people want to be around other people who are confident in themselves and who are happy people. So if you're thinking, I'm too fat, I'm so ugly, oh my god, or I'm so thin, don't think that. Everyone is beautiful in their own way. God made you who you are for a reason. You have to slay who you are. You have to walk outside and be like, I love who I am and of course, like, you're going to have some days like, oh my god, I, I don't like who I am. But maybe that's because you're on your period or something. Um, I, I know I'm like that sometimes. But you have to walk into a room or if there are other people in the room, you just, okay. It doesn't matter if there are people in a room or there's no people in a room. Just walk into somewhere and be like, I love who I am. God made me who I am for a reason. I'm going to work with who I am and I love myself and I don't need anybody else. I mean, I bet you want somebody else, but you don't need anyone else. Just be happy with who you are. Because what you think of yourself is the vibe you're putting into the world and the image that you are putting into the world. Like, if you walk into a room and say, oh, I'm so ugly or, oh my god, she looks so much better than I am. It shows on your face and it and it shows your mood and it shows like it also shows like your personality and it shows the like the image that you're or like what's a good word for it? It shows like um when you walk into a room it also shows like who you are as a person and no one really wants to be around that person if they're not really confident in themselves because they're like ooh I don't want to be with that person who's not confident I then she's going to bring me down because she's not confident in herself or in his self because I know a lot of people who I, w I was with this person in um middle school and hopefully she's not I'm not going to name any names but um I was with this person in middle school and she, I could tell that she was not confident in herself because she was bringing other people down and I'm telling you guys, no one wanted to hang out with her um, and I could see it because the people who I was hanging out with, they were thinking to themselves, oh my god, I'm forced to hang out with that person, they're going to bring me down. Don't hang out with them because they're going to bring you down. They bring you down because they're not confident with themselves and that's not okay. So, I'm telling you, don't hang out with those people who are not confident because <laughs> they are mean and rude. The next one I want to make is don't let anyone tell you who you are or define you because, like, who are they to tell you who you are? You know who you are and you gotta work with who you are, girl. Or boy. <laughs> they surround yourself with people who are positive and who are, um, Surround yourself with people who are positive and are happy and who are happy with who they are because I, it's going to make your mood so much better and surround yourself with, the, with your true friends and with the friends who appreciate who you are. Just be you around them and, um, and if, you feel, if you feel you need to change for them then they're not your true friends at all because... It's just not you. If you change yourself, just be yourself in front of people. And if they don't like that, then they're not true friends at all. And I just want to give a quick shout out. I'm so thankful to all the true friends I have. And here I found this quote. Um, I, I actually wrote it in the song because I don't know if you guys know this, but I write songs. 
I'm just gonna put the song in the description, but, um, I said I have realized as we grow, it's less important to have more friends, and it's more important to have the real ones. Now, that is a true fact of life. Um, I want to give shoutouts to a bunch of my friends, and those friends are my true friends. I mean, I do have a bunch of other friends who are my true friends, too. Um, but, okay, so at the top of my head, I could think of, like, if I don't mention your names, it's not that I don't want to put you in the video, it's just that I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to say the people who are at the top of my head. Okay, the first one. I want to say a quick shout out to Emma, Kyla, Sarah, Rena, um, Mia, um, my camp friends, my, okay, everyone else, my YouTube friends. I want to say thank you to everyone who appreciates me because I'm me. And I, even though I'm so weird sometimes and, cra I mean, I'm weird all the time, but whatever. Um, I'm weird in a good way. I'm weird and it makes me, I'm weird in my own way. So, yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm crazy. And Mia, you know that I'm crazy. And Sarah, you know that I'm crazy. And Emma, I bet you know that. Okay, all my friends know that I'm crazy. Accept me because I am who I am. And they don't like me because I have a YouTube channel. I mean, they knew me before I had a YouTube channel. But they still liked me after I had a YouTube channel. And um, I just want to give a quick shout out that my friend Mia was the one who filmed my first video and she stayed with me since day one. So thank you, girl. I love you. Um, and I don't think that YouTube defines me as a person. I think that who I am inside defines me as a person. I'm kind and sweet and caring and I love my dog and my friends and my family. I'm going on and on right now. I'm going to stop. But I know I'm being cheesy right now, but it's so true. I'm so thankful for everything I have, and YouTube definitely does not define me as a person. I love it as a hobby. It's amazing. I love talking to you guys, and I'm so thankful for you, and f since that you're taking time watching my videos, that says a lot because, honey, I'm weird, and I accept it. <laughs> I honestly accept it. Um a tip that a very very special person taught me and this is a tip that she is a very unique and rare person that I found in my life and I'm so lucky to have her in my life and she we have like a very 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 special bond I don't know how many times I could say very but we do and she taught me Okay, let me tell you the point. So the point is that um, she says to do something that makes you feel happy inside. And that is so important to do. Like, I can't express it enough. It's so important to find something that makes you happy. Because if you are not happy with what you're doing, then good luck in life. Because you're not going to get very far if you want that as a job or anything. <laughs> Um, but yeah, find something that you absolutely love to do because then you are making your life so much better and you're so much more calm inside and you're so much, you, you just are putting so much better positivity in your life if you are doing something that makes you happy. Um, whether it's like, whether it's like smiling or shopping or dancing or writing or drawing, anything that makes you happy, do it. So I really hope you guys liked this video once again. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and put down in the comments below what you guys want to see next. Please subscribe to my channel and let's get our subscribers or this channel to 2,000 subscribers because that's my goal in 2016 or maybe more than that. <laughs> but yeah, um, all my social media will be down below. And you could follow me on all that good stuff and subscribe to my vlog channel because I'm planning to vlog this summer. And if you haven't seen my previous two videos or my previous video, it will be linked down below so you could go check it out. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you so, so much and I hope you liked this video once again. Bye! Mwah.